Here's the connection between the area model and a quadratic equation when factoring. So you can see down here there are four parts that multiplied together that I added together to get the solution here. Well over here I have two binomials multiplied together the same way I have 40 plus 2 times 30 plus 6. Only here there's no way to combine them all to the end. But I do know that I need to make something plus something so I have a length and a width. Well, this first quadrant is going to be where I have x times x is x squared. And the last quadrant is going to be where I have 12, and it's either going to have to be multiplied by 12 times 1, 6 times 2, or 4 times 3. And which one gives us 8x by the time we're done? Which two factors give us 8? 1, 12, 2, 6, or 4 and 3? Well, I know it's 2 plus 6. 2 times 6 is 12. I fill in these other two quadrants. 6 times x is 6x. 2 times x is 2x. So altogether, this gives me x squared plus 6x plus 2x plus 12. The same way I have four parts here, I have four parts here. But here I can only combine 6x and 2x to get 8x. So I'm back to my original equation, but I do now have my product of two binomials, x plus 6 times x plus 2. And just to further this idea, this is basically multiplying this out. This is distributed property, but like twice as great. I am now teaching this summer and tutoring this summer privately for anybody who needs help in middle school, algebra, algebra 2. So if you need help or you need a video, please ask me. Thanks.